செவன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் இங்கிலீஷ் ஹாய் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி த லெசன் இஸ் தா த செவன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் இங்கிலீஷ் யூனிட் ஒன் இட் இஸ் அ நைஸ் லெசன் டு ஹேவ் இட் இஸ் எ ஃபெஸ்டிவல் ரிலேட்டட் லெசன் அண்ட் தெர் ஆர் ஸோ மெனி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் திங்ஸ் அபவுட் திஸ் லெசன் வென் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு லிசன் before we are going to lesson the lesson we have to write down a diagram is given there in your book see that diagram is there there are so many pictures are there so first picture and second third fourth fifth so like that there are so many pictures are given what we should do is we have to write see the picture and write the name of the festival see other picture and write the name of the festival so like that so the first festival for example they have given diwali and then second one so what is the second one we have to write it down the second one is pongal so p o n g a l pongal the third one is bakrid we have to write it bakrid So, the villagers, especially saying the villagers, uh, 
Vidyanesa celebrating in a different way all the festivals. So the village is very colorful that day. The villagers are busy, the women are busy, so like the situation is going on. Among them, very busiest and the happiest boy uh, are the little boys. So the little boys are always busy in the festival time. So the small boys, they are going, roaming and they are doing all kind of things. They wanted to celebrate. So the little, except the girls, the little boys are very busy uh, with their things to celebrate. They are waiting for every day. They will be talking about the festival. When the festival will come, how many days are there to come? Uh, when, how we are going to celebrate it? So finally they are doing, they are taking up their treasures. Treasures means their pocket money. How much they are having their own pocket money. So, each one is having their own pocket money to spend in the celebration, uh, in the festival celebration. Okay? So, Hamid and Mahmoud, Moshi, Nuri and Sami, these little boys are very busy. Uh, they are expecting to celebrate the uh, Eid. Okay? They are counting and recounting their money. Okay? When Muhammad counted, he is counting, uh, taking the, all the money from his pocket and he is counting one by one. So he is having 12 points. Okay, he is having 12 points. And next one, motion. So motion also counting. So he is also counting 1, 2, 3. So he is also having 15. And like that, other boys are having so much of money. So this money, they are. Mm, saving mm -hmm. to celebrate the festival. Okay, so let us come to Hamid. How much Hamid is having? This is not said now. So later it will be told. So Hamid, how about Hamid? So Hamid is a four years old boy and he is thin and poor, poorly dressed in his dress up, torn here and there, and he is not having proper chapel to wear. So he is a poor boy and uh, his father, previous year, last year, his father was dead out of color and the next following him, his mother also dead. Okay, now Hamid is an orphan and taking care of the Amina, the grand, the grandmother is taking care of uh, Hamid. Okay, now you can know the situation of Hamid. So Hamid almost is an orphan, but he doesn't know that his father and the mother are not at this, on this earth. Okay, but Amina is saying that his father has gone to abroad to earn money and his mother also has gone to Allah to bring some precious gifts to his own son Hamid. So Hamid is waiting for his father and mother uh, one day when they return to home, they will be giving so much, a lot of money and a lot of uh, silver, so back full of silver and his mother will bring so much uh, gracious things from the Allah. So he is looking like that, Hamid. So innocent boy, so poor boy. So the story goes like that. When the day of Eid came, uh, everyone is going to Ida to celebrate that festival. So for the Ida, they have to go. Uh, they are living in a village and they have to move from the village to the town to celebrate and to worship. Okay, they have to move on. So Hamid has no one except their friends. So now Amina is very sad. She is very sad because first, first of all she lied. She said a lie that his father and mother would come back. And second thing, she is so uh, Granny Amina, she is always sad because first thing is always they are poor and second thing she also lied to his grandson that his father and mother are they will come back one day or another day. So uh, now everyone should go for the celebration from this village to the town. Okay, they have to travel a little further to reach that in the worship. So she is uh, worried about this little boy Hamid also because he is only four years little boy. Uh, he has to go by his own with his friends. So she is concerned of him. So she is worried about Hamid said, don't worry grandma, I will be back very soon. Okay, don't worry about me.
he said, I mean, he met him, all his friends for the worship. So then he is thinking of his own son. If my son would be here, so it would be a different year. But alas, he is dead now. He is no more. Now, these boys are going to the town. So they are mingled with all the men. Uh, those who are going from the village to the town to celebrate the town. So when they are reaching the outskirt of the village, which is the entrance of the village, we saw huge buildings are there, very really decorated buildings are there, mango trees, leech trees, with the fruits, flowers, excited. For the village boys, everything is excited. They are kept by seeing all the houses, all the vendors, uh, apart from the uh, houses, they have so many vendors are there. Those who are selling toys, fruits, so many things are there. The town was decorated and the Hida is there. They have to cross them and they have to go to the Hida for celebration. For all these little boys, everything is wonderful. By seeing how we wonder, how we feel very happy by celebrating our own festival. These boys are celebrating their own festival with the wonders. So when they reach the Hida, these are all the men. They are coming in a motor cars and uh, they are coming in by horseback boots and all. They are all wearing so much of tight perfumes. It is smelling very heavily. So they are going to celebrate. And when they reach near the Ida, the worshippers are arranged in a proper manner, row by row. The first row, the people are standing or kneeling down. And then second row, the people are kneeling down. And then third row, the people are arranged row by row in a proper manner. So the little boys are there when, and they are also arranged in a row. They started to worship. Okay, after finishing the worship, after finishing the worship, they just uh, gave the sign of peace by hugging each and everyone. So one, uh, we other, they have to hug others and they expose the sign of peace. After finishing that, Worship. After finishing the worship, they just got into the shops. They have to buy. Now, this is the time for their enjoyable movement. They are going to buy so many things. Okay? They are going to buy so many things. So, Mahaman is having 12 coins, Moshin is having 50 coins, and Nuri is having some money, and the Sami also having so much of money. What about Hapi? Uh, already he is a poor boy, you know. He is having torn clothes and he is not even having a pair of shoes. And the grandma, she is also not having uh, any grain to cook that day. Okay, they, she had nothing to cook on the day except a handful of grain. So, so uh, much of poor boy and he is an orphan. How much he is having? And what are the things he bought? So, all these things we see in the next class.